Hello, I am Professor Sunil Khare from IIT Delhi. Uh, we are working under EPG Patsala program of UGC and we are dealing with the subject biochemistry. Today's topic for this subject is uh, the DNA motifs. The DNA is a building block of genetic information which is passed from parents to the offspring. There are four bases present in the DNA and the arrangement of these four bases give rise to different pattern in DNA double helix. The structure of DNA totally depends on the sequence of these bases which can give a hint to identify their function in an organism. It is well known fact that DNA can attain various conformations locally and globally depending on the nucleotide sequence and environmental conditions. The physical parameters responsible for the alteration of DNA structure could be calculated from the DNA sequences. Three such examples of physical parameters are intrinsic curvature, position preference and stacking energy which we will discuss in this lecture. First of all intrinsic DNA curvature, DNA which is intrinsically curved in the solution is called intrinsic DNA curvature. It can be identified by inconsistently very slow migration on polyacrylamide gel. Their structure is unusual and different from canonical BDNA structure. A good example of this kind of DNA structure is a tract DNA structure. Numerous mockups have been anticipated to define a tract structure and how it is responsible for deflection of DNA double helix. Second, the position preference and stacking energy. Position preference refers to angiotropic DNA flexibility. It is a model altered by 3 nucleotide or trinucleotide. The alteration in the flexibility occur by their presence in nucleosomal core sequence. The stacking energy value can be calculated from dinucleotide values. A positive peak in base stacking reflects a region which melts more easily. In addition, DNA can take numerous conformations due to presence of different arrangements of nucleotide sequence and variable energy states. So, let us see the what are the unusual structural motifs in DNA. Both single stranded DNA and double stranded DNA can possibly adopt a wide range of unusual motifs be it duplex or hairpin. Quite a few ideologies have been proposed for creation of these unusual structures. These principles have been established by observing the number of recurring structural motifs formed in response to variation in sequence. So, for the unusual structural motif in DNA, there are certain general principles which are as follows. Inside loops of successive mismatch in a BDNA duplex formed after shearing of base pairs present head to head to confer excessive cross and intra strand stacking. Second, the zipper like duplex or crossed like fingers formed when trimmed G A base pairs are parted by pair of purine purine mismatch. Third, stacking is not confined to base, even deoxyribose has ability to do so. The G C and A T base pairs are much more flexible to attain significant deviation from normal hydrogen bonded conformation. When sheared, G A base pairs bracketed the paired base become stacked and arranged perpendicularly to the nearby bases in the company of interacting drugs. 
the loop structures which are rich in purine and pyrimidine are remarkably diverse in their nature. Although the purine rich loops may form tri loop structures logged by a shared G A A A A C. Conversely, the pyrimidine rich loops having a thymidine at first position could not do base pairing. However, the thymidine residue could fold inside the minor groove in order to form a compressed loop. Talking about internal loop motifs, formation of internal loop motif occurs due to two or four mismatched base pairs in DNA duplex. These unusual duplexes are less stable than the canonical GCAT base pairs and their degree of instability depends on the nature of incorporated mismatch base pairs. However, tandem shared purine purine and purine pyrimidine base pairs are exemptions of this rule. The scheme of the shared GA pairing or its extension to AA and AC are shown in. These kind of base pairing is totally different from the normal Watson Crick base pairing with respect to hydrogen bonding. For instance, a purine base present in the minor group can use its functional group to pair with the functional groups of purine or pyrimidine bases in major group to form a shared pairing. Another kind is 2 into 2 GA2 internal loops. These kind of internal loops are only found in BDNA and ARNA duplex. However, it is not clear what are the possible reasons behind this behavior. But it may be due to the fact that a single shared base pairing causes the substantial backbone torsion, angle distortion and interrupts the canonical intra shape stacking at the BDNA duplex. Therefore, single shared GA pair is not favored and it requires two such shared base pair a 2 into 2 internal loop in tandem. Next is 2 into 2 GC AA internal loop. Recently, it was observed that the hetero purine GA and purine pyrimidine AC cross strand base stacking also exist. It was found in the human HIV1 reverse transcriptase DNA inhibitor actually. The paired bases and bases were found to contribute in shared pairing. 4 into 4 internal loops. The 2 into 2 internal loops have very good property of a stable intra strand stacking in the shared base pairs and even their neighbor base pairs. Looking into the scenario, it would become possible to construct 4 into 4 internal loops also, provided the surrounding of mismatch base pairs can provide good intra strand sticking. Very common zipper like motifs. The first zipper like motif was revealed in human centomeric tandem repeats. It was purine rich TGG AA in a strand and displays same thermal stability as that of canonically DNA duplex. Examples of zipper like motifs are as follows 1 5 prime GGA AGG 5 prime motif. The remarkable feature of this motif is that the middle guanosine residue are not paired but intercalated with each other that is wonderful. These unpaired guanosine then participate in a stacking arises in response to GA pair as a result large upfield shifting of H4 position of unpaired guanosine residue takes place. Another interesting fact is that as guanosine residue is free, so the amino group can form hydrogen bond with cross strand phosphate backbone. The second type of zipper motif is 5 prime GGGA and then A triple G5 and 5 prime G triple A and then 
triple AG 5 prime motive. These motives are mainly present in centromeric satellite sequences and their purine content is asymmetrically distributed. These kind of motive come in existence when one strand is rich in purine. In the cells, you will notice that DNA is found in different kind of motives. There are different kind of motives present and the type of motives is decided by primarily three major factors. The intrinsic uh, DNA curvature, the position preference and the stacking energy of the bases. Of course, the primary sequence of the nucleotide base is very important. So, though we have studied the DNA in form of Z DNA, B DNA, A DNA, there are unusual motifs also in that beside common hairpin and duplex kind, there are internal loop motifs, zipper like motifs, 2 into 2 motifs, 4 into 4 motif of different bases which are encountered. And this, these motifs are decided by the factors which we have discussed earlier. Okay, so, in this chapter we discussed the different kind of motifs which are present in the DNA. These are decided by the intrinsic curvature, preferences and the energy uh, values. And there are different kind of motifs. The kind of motifs are internal loop, mo zipper motif, 2 and 2, 2 by 4 motifs. So, cell depending on these values and the sequence of the nucleotide actually different kind of motifs are encountered.